But first, a man shot after allegedly trying to run over a deputy during a chase. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is live in Bartow County. He walks us through what happened. Well, uh, behind me, you can see the front yard of a dwelling. That is where the pursued car ended up in a stand of trees. The deputy's patrol car pursuing it uh, got hung up on this culvert here. So the deputy, as a result, had to get out and then uh, subsequently chase on foot. We're in a lane, a, a road here called Country Lane. It's right outside of Red Top Mountain State Park in Bartow County. We will show you what it looked like uh, when we first got here. The GBI was already on the scene investigating. Their field office is nearby. The Bartow County Sheriff's deputy car had inadvertently got stuck on that culvert. The red sedan that the deputies were chasing had driven into the stand of trees in the front yard of the residence. The deputy approached the car on foot, and a witness says that the driver accelerated toward him. She tried to swerve over, over and hit the officer. She wasn't too far from him at all. Maybe four or five feet, maybe. And was that the point where he fired the shots? Yeah, it was after that. It was after that. And unbeknown to the deputies, this gentleman was wanted uh, on some charges out of the city of Cartersville. So, and, and this was not his vehicle that he was driving. So, no way that these officers could have had any idea that, uh, you know, what was about to happen. Investigators described the driver of the red sedan as a white male who had been wanted on theft warrants which might explain why he fled following a routine traffic stop. Investigators have not released any names. They say that the person shot by the deputy is going to survive the injuries, uh, and all of this information will be turned over by the GBI investigators to the Bartow County District Attorney's Office uh, to see to what extent, if any, any charges should be filed. Cheryl, back to you. All right, Doug, thank you. Our team is working to get more information about the suspect and his warrant. Look for updates on 11alive.com and the 11alive app.